Um, I've never really wanted to be born in another generation. I do feel like the generation that I'm a part of is really exciting. I, regardless of whether or not I enjoy like vintage objects or styles or things like that, as like a visual artist, I still think that like the time that we live in is really exciting. Um, the pod, the benefits of like being a part of this generation are definitely the accessibility to resources and other people socially and um, professionally. I really do feel like it's been a major benefit for me to have access to things like social media or to communities that are thriving because of their interconnectedness in the industry itself. Um, and that's definitely just a product of the internet and um, the accessibility of emailing, the accessibility of building websites, the accessibility of starting companies. That's just something that back in the day, even though people maybe had more money in their pocket, it was a lot harder to establish yourself. So I think the independence of being a self-established, self-made person in whatever industry you're in is a huge power in this generation. Um, and I also really have um, recognized like the fact that so many things that were being dealt with in the past, like social movements for women, social movements for people of color, um, like socioeconomic disparity, which still existed. I do think that those things have come up again in the modern day, but in a way that puts everybody in, involved in the conversation. It's not just the people who have the access to the outlets, like everybody can talk about it, everyone can participate in it and have an opinion. And that is a product of the generation we live into, which I think is a something that just has allowed our society to grow a lot quicker mentally. Like we've had a lot more, um, there's just a lot more conversation that happens on a day-to-day -day basis compared to like, the, the filters of like large media that were probably controlling what people thought a lot more before. Um, but I think being a part of this generation also has really huge flaws in terms of both giving people the chance to talk about the things that aren't fair, but then also the fact that it just kind of illuminates it and makes it really, really clear. And then it also creates a, like, a sense of powerlessness because even though we're able to talk about these things, we also notice that they don't change. Um, in a much more upfront way, so we're all kind of victims to a situation that we're all aware of, whether it be economically or socially. Um, and I think for me personally, working in, um, in the art world, trying to work in entertainment and theater and film, um, it's extremely difficult to support yourself on that career alone. So noticing that it's really hard to get a very well-paying job that will support me and also give me the time for my creativity or for my professional work um, it's something that my family in the past did not have to deal with in this country or even in the countries that they come from. So I feel like uh, recognizing that that's the time we are in is a little bit jarring and not really knowing how I have the power to like do anything about it is also really difficult. But, um, but yeah. They are global, open-minded. There are no more difference about race. Uh, sex, nationality, uh, they are sensible to values uh, and green economy, they are um, individualistic, pragmatic, realistic, practical. With the millennials, generations uh, um, as in common the appetite for making the difference and contributing to the business on a larger scale, so they are able to play a constructive role in moving the business forward the fresh, well-rounded perspective. Uh, they both look for customization of what they have and uh, motivation for what they do. Uh, they both are, I think, empowered. And they both spend a lot of time on social media, of course, but the platform they use are quite different. Uh, but to better understand the generations that we should try to know more about their parents, the Generation X. Generation X is raising generations that to look like them, autonomous, cynical, skeptical. They figure things out themselves. Generation X thinks uh, college degree is more essential for a successful career, and they still bet in Generation Z. The result is that Generation Z is more likely to spend money in college, in education, than in buying a house. We will face the best educated generation ever.